Hele verden venter med tilbageholdt åndedræt på den film, som den øh, hollandske politiker Gerd Wilders har lavet, hans film, som er en, en anti-islamisk film. Hollanderne frygter, at den kan betyde, at de får deres egen Mohammed-krise. Den hollandske premierminister har bedt Wilders om at genoverveje, om han virkelig vil offentliggøre en film, der kan øge risikoen for terror i Holland og bringe hollandske soldater i Afghanistan i øget fare. Men Riet Wilders fastholder, at han offentliggør sin film inden for et par uger. Jeg mødte Riet Wilders til et interview i går, hvor jeg forsøgte at finde ud af, hvad det er, han vil med sin film. Mr. Wilders, who is your film made for? The Dutch audience or an international audience? Well, it's made um, especially for the Dutch audience, but um, I know now a lot of people around the world uh, will want to see um, the short movie I made, so... But the point uh, you're making is a Dutch point. Well, not only Dutch in a way. I made it for the Dutch public, but I really believe that it's five minutes to 12 when it comes to the uh, danger of the Islamization of our continent, of Europe, indeed of the West, uh, the Western world. So um, I hope that the Dutch, but also um, the rest in the Western world will look at it and acknowledge the fact that you have a big problem when it comes to defending our freedom, when it comes to the growing Islamization of our continent. You have said that you want the Quran to be forbidden. Why? Yes, I think it's a fascist book. I think uh, the Quran, uh, which is Islam, it's the word of uh, God, only uh, uh, brings, um, um, well, a lot of uh, tension uh, in our countries. It's a violent book. It's a book that at the end of the day will cost us our freedom. It's a book of submission. And you could also find places in the Bible, for instance, where they condone stoning, where they say that homosexuality, sh- you should have death penalty for that. Yes. That's also very yes. hard talk. Yes, it is indeed. But of course, after um, the Old Testament that you are talking about, Deuteronium and other parts of the Old Testament, we had a New Testament. The New Testament is a more moderate book. The Quran is not only the word of God directly, giving through Muhammad, but Muslims believe it's the word of God. But there is not a new, more moderate uh, Quran uh, today. And I would wish that would be the case. And secondly, so is that what you want to obtain? A reform of Islam? Is that what you wish? Well, I don't believe myself on the short term that there would be a moderate uh, Islam or a European uh, Islam. I think that the Islam, it will take many, many years if there would be a change. But indeed, a new moderate Quran in time, Uh, would be very good. I make a distinction, however, between the religion, the ideology. I think we should fight the Islamic ideo- ideology, which will kill at the end of the day our freedom and our values, and the Muslims. I think that a lot of Muslims, indeed, in our countries um, are not terrorists, but there are so many that they bring their culture, and we should stop at least the immigration uh, from people from Muslim countries to the West. So, I don't understand this. Is the number of Muslims the important thing, or is it the ideology of the few? A, it's the ideology, but B, it's also (coughs) the numbers. I don't want any Muslims in the Netherlands to leave my country involuntarily. But I want the immigration to be stopped, because if you have, like my country, out of 60 million inhabitants, 1 million Muslims, they bring a culture that is so different to our culture that at the end of the day there will not only be a class of civilizations that we have today, but we would lose as Dutchmen or as Danish or as other Western European countries our identity, the way we deal with women, with children, with gays, with separation of church and state. So I want the immigration to be stopped from Muslim countries because I believe that we should be more proud of our own identity, our own culture, and once again, the Netherlands, like Denmark, is not and should never become a Muslim state. But the vast majority of the Muslims don't even want that. The vast majority of the Muslims do not like beheading, stonings, all this. Yes. They live modern, integrated lives in your country and in my country. Yes. I wish you were uh, right, but we had just um, a poll, uh, an academic poll in the Netherlands, and it proved that almost half, 48 percent, of the Moroccan youth, all Moroccans under the age of 21, said that they were against democracy and in favor of installing But isn't Sharia that lack of education more? Isn't that lack uh, no, of your country not educating these people in the right way? Well, uh, we don't educate people um, to be in favor of Sharia. If people want in Sharia to be installed in the Netherlands, uh, they should get out of our country. We should kick them out and let them go to Or show Pakistan, them that there is Iran, another way. Uh, show them in your education system that that's not the way we live here. You have to live the way we live. We are doing do. that. Uh, once again, almost all of those people are born in the Netherlands. They are not. They are the last third generation uh, living in the Netherlands. They are not like in the 60s people coming from Morocco to the Netherlands. They are born here. They are educated here. Uh, God knows we have no Sharia in our um, um, educational system. They know 
people, it's not acceptable, and still almost half of them wants democracy to be changed. We cannot accept it. This is something that is so much against all our values that I believe we should stop all the Islamization of all our countries at the end of the day. The whole world is now waiting for your yeah. film to be published and, and no one really knows what it's in it, what, what's in it, but it looks like the world could go on fire and you're the one holding the match. What, well, what are the reactions you expect? Listen, I'm a, more than half a million people voted for me personally and for my party. I'm a democratic elected uh, politician. I believe that my movie is within the boundaries of the Dutch law. And I uh, don't really care about the contents of the Saudi or the Afghan law. So, But you must be people... thinking about the threats no. to Dutch soldiers abroad, uh, reactions to your country's exports, reaction to Dutch people living in other countries. Yes. You must be thinking about that. Of course, but I will never, never accept responsibility for people who don't care about the rule of law and use, instead of counter-arguments for something they perhaps don't agree with, like my movie, will use violence, will use hate, will use murder or threats to anybody, any Dutchman or even any Danish people like your experience uh, abroad of our own countries. I'm a Democrat uh, making a movie within the Dutch law, the boundaries of a law, and people who don't accept the law and use violence, they are responsible. They are responsible for the deeds. It can never be me who is being held responsible. It proves my point that indeed Islam is a very violent religion. If I would have made a movie about the Bible, I'm sure that not everything would have happened, that there wouldn't be threats from the Vatican that are coming now from Pakistan and the Mufti of Lebanon, the threats to me and my country, fellow, fellow countrymen. This proves my point exactly about the Islam and how much the movie is needed. I'm talking about the reactions we're expecting abroad. If we see, you know, violent demonstrations, yes. things happening that we also saw yes. happening after the Danish cartoon crisis, is that what you wish to obtain? Of course not. I don't want the, to be uh, to to be any hassle in any part of the world. But it can happen, like happened with the Danish cartoons. Uh, a cartoon. But you um, know for a fact now what could happen. We didn't know that with the cartoons. It's, it's you happening. know that this will be it's happening. It's happening already now, whereas nobody in the world knows what the content of the movie will be. There are already Dutch flags burning uh, and uh, people saying that perhaps the Dutch soldiers in Afghanistan uh, would be hurt. But of course, I can never and I will never go um, to bow for people who use threats and violence whereas just using my freedom of expression. And I'm very proud that when it came to the Danish cartoons, your Dutch, the, your Danish government stood behind the freedom of expression of anybody. Leftist, rightist, middle of the road, it doesn't matter. The freedom of expression is important. And um, Even if it means setting the world ablaze? Well, if the world is going to be set ablaze, it's been done by radical Muslims, uh, not by me. Mr. Wilders, thank you so much. Derhed Wilders var her i går og mødte min kollega Mads Brygger ham også. Og hvad der kom ud af det, det kan I se senere på kanalen senere her i aften på denne her kanal. Det er i den 11. time kl. 23.